Hi guys, Alexander Dunlop. I am a guide and teacher of life and I'm here with another weekly wisdom call. I'm going to be teaching you from this book, this unbound book of knowledge that was hidden in plain sight. This ancient book of knowledge. It's a book of sacred geometry of numbers and symbols and hidden right bef before our eyes. Hi Roseanne. We've taken it as a gaming instrument, something to play go fish or uh, poker, but actually it's a sacred book of numbers and symbols. And if any of you know who Manly P. Hall is, he said a, had an interesting quote that I really like, which he said that when humanity learns to read symbolic language, a great veil will be lifted from our eyes. And this is a symbolic language. This tool is written in a meta-symbolic language. And as we learn to read this symbolic language, a great veil is lifted from our eyes. And to me, it's like when people were illiterate and could not read or write. And then there's a transition when people became literate. And that transformed our society when we had um, the ability to read and write. And similarly, when people become literate as to what this is, there's going to be a great transformation in our society as well. Um, I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I'm just going to say hold on for one moment and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So we're talking about the meaning of this deck of cards, which is actually a book of knowledge. And what I want to talk about this week, well, the card of the week, which is the two of spades. And there are 52 cards in the deck. There are 52 weeks in the year. Each one of the weeks of our year is symbolized by one of these patterns. Okay. Last week was the Ace of Spades, was the energy in play for that week. And if you know Kabbalistic teaching, there's a similar idea in Kabbalah, that each week is a different energy pattern. And so this week we're moving through the energy that's symbolized by the Two of Spades. And the spade is an acorn, which is a symbol of the pineal gland, or the third eye psychedelic vision and it's a representation of faith and imagination and then what we're going to do about that what we're going to do about what we're imagining and the two is symbolically represented with opposing pips now, there's two different possibilities and so when we pass through this energy, we're going to be presented with an opportunity to join forces or align or connect two different possibilities. And that can be within our own psyche to connect two different possibilities or connecting with someone else, connecting with their perspective, with their vision, with their imagination. And so as we move through this energy, it's an opportunity to find partnership to find synergy. Connecting with someone else so, we're, so that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts or connecting within our own psyche with the different aspects of ourselves so that we unify and integrate. This is the possibility when we're present, when we're presented with the two of spades. And again, this is a symbolic representation of an underlying energy frequency. And so we're experiencing this energy. It's like experiencing, um, it's like the unconscious weather report. It's what is the energy that's present and we can't see it with our eyes. But this tool gives us a way to tune in to what that energy is. So two of spades. Notice that there is a space between the two. 
it's important that there is healthy and clear boundaries. And that would be a challenge that you want to avoid whenever the two of spades is present. Avoid merging and avoid compromising your own integrity. You want to make sure you have clear boundaries and clear space. So you can merge together with, or let me say it differently, so that you could integrate and unify your energy with someone else without compromising your own boundaries. That's very important. It can be a little bit of a paradox. How do I integrate with someone else and yet maintain clear boundaries? This is an important question that comes up when we play the two of spades. And it can bring up existential questions of our own self-worth, even our own mortality. How do we join together with others in a way that is uh, most meaningful and most satisfying, that will fulfill why we're really here on the deepest level? So some things to notice when the, the Two of Spades is present is um, Noticing how you want to do things together with others. This is a, a good opportunity to have joint activities, to create um, symbiosis or synergy with others in how you do things together. So I would encourage you this week to look for ways to do things with other people and to create joint activities with others. Again, just remember, don't try to take one for the team. Don't overdo it. Don't um, like try to force others to accommodate what you want. It's important that you respect other people's boundaries and respect where other people are. And the way to play the two of spades well is to create a vision that other people buy into so that there is something that they can imagine that makes them get excited about what it is you want to do. So you can enroll them in the vision and then they are a willing participant and then you create this synergy between you and another because you've created a joint vision that excites them and stimulates them and motivates them to do the work or get the job done. As opposed to that, if you try to just willfully force someone to act, then you may create friction and resistance. So the solution is to create the shared vision. And that's how you get the results that you want. So I encourage you this week to look for ways to create a joint vision, a shared story, imagining something that will excite others around you, whether in your workplace or in your family, that will motivate others to work together with you to build bridges together, create harmony together, to do things together based on your shared vision that unites you. So that's what I encourage you to do this week. And I also encourage you to start, if you're not already, looking up your personal daily card. This is the card of the week. Each day you have a personal card to play and you can look that up on our website at lifeelevated.life. This is a nonprofit foundation designed to share this ancient wisdom with you. And you can look up your personal daily cards on our online app. It's uh, $2.97 a month. And your support contributes to our mission as well. So win-win. Look up your personal daily cards and support us in our mission to share this knowledge with you. Now the other thing to say is that wherever the two of spades may be in your life path, this is the two of spades, will indicate the kind of week that you have. So we all have 13 cards in our life path, and the two of spades happens to be the 13th card in my life path. So it's the final destination of my life. It's my king card. So for me, this week is going to be an opportunity to see where do I go in life? What does the final unveiling of my life look like? So I'm going to be looking out for that. And where the two of spades falls in your life path will show you what kind of week you have too. If the two of spades is the Saturn card of your life, you can expect to learn some lessons this week. If the two of spades is your soul gift card, 
you can expect to receive some blessings this week. And if you want to find out where the Two of Spades lies in your life path, you can pick up my book. I think it's going to show up backwards for you on the screen. Play Your Cards Right, A Sacred Guide to Life on Earth. And you can pick that up on Amazon to read about your life path. Okay, everyone. As always, I wish you good luck playing your cards. And may you live your life like it's your favorite game to play. <laughs>